In this video, I'm going to show you how to build a Windows 11 virtual machine, but this will also work with Windows 10 on XCPNG that has Secure Boot and VTPM. We're also going to load the management drivers and set the resolution in the UEFI BIOS. It's February of 2024, and I'll be using XCPNG 8.3 Beta 2, which should be in full release soon or perhaps by the time you're watching this video. So let's get started. <music> Are you an individual or forward-thinking company looking for expert assistance with network engineering, storage, or virtualization projects? Perhaps you're an internal IT team seeking help to proactively manage, monitor, or secure your systems. We offer comprehensive consulting services tailored to meet your specific project needs. Whether you require fully managed or co-managed IT services, our experienced team is ready to step in and help. We specialize in supporting businesses that need IT administration or IT teams seeking an extra layer of support to enhance their operations. To learn more about any of our services, head over to our website and fill out the Hire Us form at lawrencesystems.com. Let us start crafting the perfect IT solution for you. If you want to show some extra love for our channel, check out our swag store and affiliate links down below that will lead you to discounts and deals for products and services we discuss on this channel. With the ad read out of the way, let's get you back to the content that you really came here for. Now, if we go over here to home, then storage, and we look at my ISOs, and we look at the disks, you can see I already have the Windows 11 ISO downloaded. And the next step would be to go to new and virtual machine. Select the pool you want to create it on, select the template. We'll choose Windows 11, give it a name, description. We'll give it 12 cores and 16 gigs of RAM. Choose the ISO. I'm fine with one ethernet adapter. I'm fine with local storage, but let's go ahead and give it a little more storage. Now we're going to go to advanced settings. I'm fine with boot VM after creation. We'll go down here and we want secure boot and VPTM enabled. These are important because we do need the VTPM for Windows 11. Go ahead and hit create. Now we're going to go through the Windows load process. We're not going to use our product key because this is just a demo. Now we'll quickly run through the Windows setup process. After answering lots of questions, Windows is finally getting things ready. And now we have Windows 11 loaded. I want to point out if we go here and let's go to the device manager. It is online, but you will find some unknown devices and it will pick up only the generic Intel network adapter. So let's go ahead and load the Citrix drivers. We're going to go here to Microsoft Edge. We want to go to zenserver.com slash downloads. This does not require any type of account to get the Citrix drivers. So let's go ahead and scroll down here. And we want the Zen Server VM tools for Windows. Go ahead and click download. Accept and download. Open the file. Next. Accept. We're going to go ahead and install the IO drivers. So hit next, install, say yes, and go ahead and restart. Now we're going to open up the device manager again. It lets us know that was successfully installed. Open up the device manager, look at network adapters, and we now have the Zen Server PV network device. Now while we're here, we're also going to go ahead and eject this CD because I don't need that attached anymore. All right, now let's talk about setting Windows resolution because if we go to the display settings, you can see that it's locked right here at the 1024 768 with no ability to change. So what we're going to do is stop this virtual machine, start it back up, and as soon as you see the core logo, you want to hit the escape key. And we're going to go over here to device manager, OVMF platform configuration, and change this one to 1280 by 800, but choose any resolution you want. There's a lot of options in here. Press F10 to save. 
Say yes. We're going to stop the system and restart it so it brings up the new resolution. We go back into the display settings. There's our 1280 by 800 settings. A couple things of note, the entire virtual machine is backed up when you use the Zen Orchestra Backup that does include the BIOS settings and the VTPM, allowing you to restore it on not just another host, but even in a different pool. That VTPM is not attached to this specific host, it is attached directly to the VM. Also, there is a Windows Update option under Advanced with the VM. If you were to turn that on, do not load the 6 I.O. drivers because you're likely to have a problem. By turning that on, this allows Windows Update to just load the drivers, but not the management agent. That is an alternate way to do it, but if you prefer to load the Citrix management agent like I showed you, this will install the agent and the I.O. drivers and seems to be the preferred way to do this here in 2024 without any issues. I've had some bugs happen before in the Windows Update one. The Citrix one seems to work perfectly fine, the version of the driver that I have loaded there. Like and subscribe to see more content from this channel. Head over to my forums, forums.lawrencesystems.com to connect with me on this or any other video on my channel you want to have a more in-depth discussion about. Also, leave some comments down below. Let me know what you liked or didn't like about this video. If you want to connect with me on any other socials, you'll find those over at lawrencesystems.com and thanks.